Oh, hey everybody. Well, I guess this will be a big, big start for multi voice arena. <laughs> As you can see, I am wearing a pumpkin shirt. Even though my last one's kind of dark, so I'm putting this one on to light up the life. Decorate your house with some pumpkin design. I like this one because it has a haunted house inside. It's not often you see a, a pumpkin with a haunted house in it. And also, get yourself a bowl of cereal of uh, Count Chocula, Frankenberry, Boo Berry, or that new one, Carmilla Creep. As for me, I just monster mash it all. They did the mash, do, 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 did the monster mash. Monster mash do, 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 was a graveyard smash. It's the mash. It catch all in a flash. It did the mash. And you can monster mash. Wow. <laughs> Speaking of that, I mean, remember I always said that I always liked those Halloween audio scary stories? Well, I also like horror comedy. And I found a horror comedy series that I find very interesting. And I think some of you people should uh, give them a listen. Called Curdle Holler. It's a, a audio Halloween comedy series. And it's about a, um, a horror hostess and her invisible man just exploring their city called Curdle Holler. But enough with the Curdle Holler, Monster Mash, and everything on Halloween. I'm going to start out the, um, the multi-voice ween by reviewing one of the movies that um, I have seen... And, um, I have to say it's a really good, uh, suspenseful thriller action horror movie I've ever seen. And the movie I'm going to talk to you today is Final Girl. Now, this one doesn't have any monsters or anything, but, uh, let me tell you what it's all about. It's about... It's about this young girl who goes by the name of... Vanessa. Vanessa is played by uh, Abigail Bressel. Now, I've seen her in another mo other movies. I mean, she played the little sister in the Zombieland sequels and also was in that uh, horror comedy series uh, Scream Queens, which I kind of feel sorry for her because uh, her character in that series go through a lot of hell. But in this one, she's not going through any hell. Because in this one, she plays a young girl who gets trained by this agent named William, played by Wes Bentley. Now, here's the thing about this show. It, it, it just raises too many questions on that movie. Because they say that he is an agent, but it never explains what part of the agency is he part of. I mean, if he is he FBI, CIA, what? I mean... I don't know what he is. But um, he found the girl when she was like eight years old when her parents got murdered. So he kind of raised her and trained her on how to kill certain serial killers. But it turns out that um, the mission that he has her in since she's all grown up, they're dealing with four boys who are the killers. And one thing they have done, they have taken young, beautiful, blonde girls, and they uh, they kind of leave them out in the out in the woods at night and play a little cat and mouse game until the end. They kill them and hide their body in the woods. So William and uh, Victoria, I mean Vanessa decided to train her on how to defend herself if she gets into a chokehold and also and also did a little test on her by giving her this hallucinogenic drug which is a combined mixture of a truth serum and hallucinogenic drug so she kind of hallucinate and told the truth at the same time and since it was very effective she is ready. And, um... 
And during the time, she kind of feels... I mean, during the years of being raised by that agent, uh, William, she starts having feelings for him. And he said he can't. He's her trainer. He doesn't feel love or anything. But she does have a huge crush on him since the years he's been training her. But he said it's, it, it can't be possible. I mean, he's like the teacher and she's the student. And it's about the mission. And she kind of wonder if she may fail the mission, he has to kill her. What kind of agency is this? I mean, it's like what Val Kilmer on uh, Batman Forever says. It just raises too many questions. But anyway... She decided to infiltrate the four boys. So... She uh, made herself look beautiful... Wearing a red dress. And then... She meets the four boys. First, they meet their mastermind, Jason, played by Alexander Ludwig. Ludwig. He's like the mastermind, and he's the one who always keeping an eye out for the next victim so he can play a next cat and mouse game. And of course, there's the hipster named Danny played by Logan Hoffman. The heavy hitter, called Nelson, played by Reese Thompson. And also the ladies' man, named Shane, played by babyface Cameron Bright. Bright. Cameron Bright. And also, Cam and Bright has a girlfriend named Jennifer, played by Emma Priest. Preets. I hope I got her name right. So, Vanessa talked to Jennifer about her boys and shows up in the diner where they all hang out. And that's when she caught Jason's eye, the mastermind. Now, here's one thing. Jason, he just loves to kill and loves to play games, and that's his goal. He just brings his friend along for the fun of it. And, uh... Danny, he's kind of a nut job. I mean, he's kind of psycho. I mean, there's even a scene where he is dancing to an old-fashioned song while holding an axe. And it's not often that you see a killer dancing around with his axe. I mean, I've seen Leatherface dancing around with his chainsaw, but... But with an axe? <laughs> Nelson, the heavy hitter, I think this boy has mama issues because he lives home with his mom. While uh, Sean, in the other hand, loves his girlfriend Jennifer so much, but has a sneaking suspicion that his best friend Jason probably be cheating. I mean, probably been having an affair with Jennifer. Well, anyway, the boys met Vanessa, and that's when this whole thing started. They took... At first... They wanted to know how good she is, so they play a little game of um, mailbox baseball. You know, carry a bat, hang out in a vehicle, and when a mailbox comes up, yeah, bada 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 swing. <laughs> Although it's illegal to play that game, so I wouldn't recommend it. Hell, I wouldn't be caught dead being on a vehicle playing. Mailbox baseball. I wouldn't find that fun at all. And then they went out in the woods and they play a little game called Truth or Dare. And they have this uh, little small sack. It has all these cut out little logs with words on them. So 
one by one, they did a bit of a truth or dare game towards one another. Until the last word came out, die. And that's when Jason yelled out, run. Run! <laughs> but as he was like, wait for 30 minutes. But Danny couldn't wait. He was so eager to kill her with his axe. Oh, and a little known fact. She gave them a flask. It has alcohol mixed with the hallucinogenic truth serum. So they all took a swig, except their leader, Jason. He wasn't thirsty. This is water. I know because I put it there. I didn't put any drugs or anything on it. Besides, I hate to drink something that would make me go all freaking out. <laughs> and then one by one, here's the thing. Danny starts to hallucinate. And all of a sudden he is surrounded by a bunch of guys wearing all black and ski masks. Scaring the crap out of him. And she showed up and started hitting him one by one. I mean, one at a time, getting hit by those uh, mysterious... Oh, no, wait. No, wait, that was Nelson's. Oh, Danny's hallucinations was these two people in tuxedos who are wearing these uh, mascot... Uh, panda bear mascot head, head mask. And they were freaking him out. I mean, he was getting all freaked out seeing those two bears just staring right at him. Until uh, Vanessa grabbed his axe and... <laughs> Spoilers ahead for those of you who haven't seen the movie. Now, Nelson, he starts hallucinating the guys with the uh, ski mask and all. While at the same time, he also hallucinating seeing his mom in front of him. And like I said, this guy has mommy issues because he also hallucinated about him kissing his mom. You know, I know a guy who has mommy issues. He goes by the name Norman Bates. He runs a Bates Hotel down in Oregon. <laughs> you know, I should review Psycho one of these days. Oh, yeah, I should. But anyway, Sean, I mean, even though... Danny had his hallucination. Vanessa finally knocked Danny out and grabbed a big rock and smashed him in the head. And then, Sean. His hallucination, his girlfriend Jennifer showed up. And he started seeing his friend Jason with Jennifer kissing. And wanted to know the truth. Did Jason had an affair with Jennifer? And it made him so mad that he 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 was hallucinating like he was he strangled his girlfriend Jennifer and beat up Jason. But it turns out that it was Vanessa, not Jason, that he was beaten up. So she strangled him, and he was out. I mean, he was gone. I mean, she just broke his neck. That's what she did. Now it leads to the ringleader himself, Jason. And one by one, he looked at Danny. He was like, Huh, there's something more about this girl. And then he uh, saw Nelson. It was like, Wow. And then when he saw Sean, and then when he finally faced the girl... He said that he thinks he's in love because she has the killing instincts just like he does. And he's trying to convince her, telling her that uh, all his, all the girls he met, he never met a girl who is cunning and smart and strong as she is. And he was thinking about starting a relationship and probably marry her. But Vanessa was like, no. 
So they did a little tackle until she finally put him in a in a choke hole, which William taught her how do a choke hole to knock him out but not kill him. And then she pours that uh, hallucinogenic truth serum liquor down his throat while he was out, and then put a noose around his neck. And as he woke up, he started answering more more of her questions. How many women he killed? 22. How many times did he, uh, did he really have an affair with Jennifer? He said more than once. Wow. What a bastard. And then Vanessa asked him, what is his fear? And that's when the hallucina hallucination started. He started seeing all these girls that he killed coming out of the woods. One by one, just surrounding him. And he's like, no, no, get away, get away, get away. And then he slipped and <laughs> he got hung. And then William showed up and was pretty impressed that she finished the mission. The mission was complete. It was a success. So, they went back to a diner and had themselves some pancakes and Cool Whip. And even a milkshake. You know, that's one thing I like to have. I like to get myself some pancakes and milkshakes. Because that's one thing I love. I love a good milkshake. And I love a good pancake. Blueberry pancakes is my favorite. I love blueberry pancakes. Although I love pumpkin spice. I mean, since it's Halloween, I love pumpkin spice. Sadly, my mom and stepdad think I'm crazy that I love pumpkin spice, but I love pumpkin spice, and I love pumpkin pie. So, when it comes to me and Halloween, I like everything pumpkin-themed. Now, sorry that this video is short. I try to make it as long as the others, but uh, this was one movie that I wanted to review and talk to you guys, but uh, stay tuned for more of Multi Voice Ween because uh, there's going to be a movie riff coming up, and um, and also try to think up some other stuff for uh, for October on my movie riff, and I'm going to do something very special just for Halloween. If you remember my grim, scary tales, well, I'm going to be re-uploading all of them together so some of you people will remember how I was when it comes to storytelling. I was pretty young and pretty thin back then. Although a lot of people just still say I look the same. Man, I let my hair grow. But that's what I'm going to do for Halloween. I'm dressing up as a vampire. So, um... Happy Halloween, everybody. If you like this review, please leave a comment down below. Hit like and subscribe for more. And uh, more multi voice ring coming up. <laughs>